you know, we're, we're for Barack Obama for a number of reasons. I mean, we have a tough choice here. I'm focusing on, you know, the primary, April 22. Uh, and people say, okay, why, why, you know, why Barack Obama, why not Hillary? And the answer is, I believe uh, that he will, will, he will change this country. I don't think Hillary is going to change it. You know, Hillary <clears throat> is basically, you know, the 1990s. And I think we need new times. We need new ideas. We have new challenges. And I think Barack Obama will change things. First of all, with regard to NAFTA, he's the first person. He's finally said, and he's saying it over and over again, I will change NAFTA. I will renegotiate NAFTA. Uh, we will take out all of those, you know, benefits or subsidies that people get under NAFTA if they leave this country. And the best example is over here is the Peppermint Patty. I just went over and visited those guys over there. That's a disaster. We've got 250 people. It's earned, owned by Hershey's. They're leaving, going to Mexico. And Hershey has done that. We, they laid off 600 people, Teamsters in California. They closed a plant, uh, a Hershey Canada. They closed it in Canada, and they're moving it all to Mexico. And if we could change this law, that wouldn't happen because there'd be incentives for employers to stay here. And NAFTA has to. That Barry Calibut. He's the one's going to make all their chopping. Great American Hershey bar is going Spanish, man. Money, money. And that's why I'm campaigning. I am on these politicians. I'm on Barack Obama. He said he will renegotiate it. And I talked to him today. And I told him, you want to do something. And I, I believe in this man. But I said, if you want to do something, you go there and you talk to those people and interview them and talk to them in the eye. And I said, that's what it's about. Then you know what NAFTA is about. Thank you very much for being here. Let's vote for Obama. Come on, let's do it. Thanks, guys. All right. Hey. Also, uh, Barack Obama is for a number of things. He has a thing called the Patriot Employer Act, which is going to be those employers that, that keep jobs here will get rewarded with regard to tax benefits and incentives. In other words, these people will get tax benefits uh, to keep them in this country, to keep people working. And when you think about the 250 people who are going to lose their jobs over here, you think about all those people pay taxes, they pay federal income tax, they pay state income tax, they consume, they pay sales tax. And, you know, they basically buy cars, they buy groceries, and all that's going to go away when this comes. They're going to lose their jobs. So, you know, it has a tremendous impact on the community. So those are the issues. And the other issue is uh, that Barack Obama is for a number of things that are good for labor. He's good for things that are going to change, like rebuilding our infrastructure in this country. The infrastructure is falling apart, and we're going to basically change that. And he has this idea of a green technology where we can start investing in alternative fuels that are going to start changing this country, we can invest. And also, basically, our infrastructure is falling apart. We have bridges falling apart. You know, George Bush cut, you know, every type of inspector. He got rid of the food inspectors. He got rid of the, uh, he got less FAA inspectors. He's got rid of the, uh, the tunnel inspectors, the mine inspectors, and got rid of the bridge inspectors. And what have we had? We have more mine deaths, and we had that bridge fall down in Minnesota. You know, the answer is this country's falling apart, literally, and we've got to change that.